Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be looking at a truly rare U.S. rash. This is a menu number seven meal flight feeding individual. Honestly, there's very little information about this ration that's out there on the internet. The only thing I could really find was a really old MREinfo.com post where somebody just had an empty bag of one of these, and they were really excited to have that empty bag, if that tells you anything. Now, some of the information I do know is that these meals followed up the in-flight meals, which were canned rations in a box. And I have one of those right here that I can show you. This is the IF-7. This is one of the older ones. I think this is 1957, if I'm not mistaken, or 52. But uh, you can see right there what's inside. But I'll go into more detail about the in-flight when I do an actual review of this ration. So the meal flight feeding individual, they tried to take out things that would cause gas in your stomach, like the bean component, and other things like that that would cause gas in your stomach, and they replaced it with things like freeze-dried fruit and other items that would not cause gas in your stomach. These meals were designed to be handed out on really long flights. And other than that, that's most of the information that I have on this. Now, I did see some meal flight feeding individual cases come up here pretty recently, and Steve1989 actually picked a case of those up. But the thing is, once he opened them up and got to looking at the meals, they were all just labeled regular MREs. So the meal flight feeding individual is probably pretty rare to be printed in this exact bag. I don't feel like the components are going to be super rare, but uh, the meal itself is a very rare ration. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and start checking it out. Give you a real quick up close look at that so meal flight feeding individual menu number seven turkey diced with gravy with accessory packet a so i'm going to cut this open from the back at the top i'm going to use this razor blade because i would like to keep this bag there we go we're in give it a quick smell well, no no weird odors coming out of there. All right, let's see what we got in here. First up, we have one ounce of apple jelly. Next, we have a package of freeze-dried pears. Actually, don't think these are going to be any good. They're loose in there, so unfortunately those didn't make it. Cocoa beverage powder, type 1 fortified. The main entree, turkey diced with gravy, and that is an 8-ounce entree. It's going to be really hard to see, but there's a date code right here of 6255. That's the 255th day of 1986. We have a maple nut cake. We have one of the little accessory packets. Accessory packet A. MRE crackers. It also came with a pouch stand. And last but not least, we have our white spoon. Alright, I'm going to get all this stuff put out on the tray and I'll be right back. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is check out our accessory packet. This is a little tiny accessory packet A. See what we got going on in here. Of course, there's a list on the outside, but let's see what kind of condition everything's in. Mmm, smells so good inside of there. Got the green chiclets type gum, package of iodized salt, sugar, cream substitute, dry non dairy, coffee instant type one, and last but not least, we have our US issued butt ration. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the main heated up, and we'll check everything else out in the meantime. All right, next we're going to make up our cocoa beverage powder, and we're going to go ahead and throw the coffee in there with it, along with the sugar and the cream. We'll go ahead and make us up an army mochaccino. All right. Cocoa beverage powder looks perfect. Now we'll see if our coffee instant type 1 is looking good. Oh yeah, I could tell by the dust that came out whenever I ripped the top off. That looks absolutely perfect. We'll go ahead and add in our sugar. We'll take a look at our creamer and see if it's worth putting in there or not. And it looks fine. 
give it a little taste real quick. It tastes perfectly fine. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add one cup of previously boiling water to this. I'm gonna go ahead and get our spoon opened up. Give that a real quick stir. Get our maple nut cake opened up. This is back whenever they still folded them over. There we go. Really hope this thing's still edible. As you look at that, maple nut cake. We'll take a look at our pears, which I'm pretty sure are no good. Let's take the razor knife. Cut it open. Yeah, I'll be darned. They are still good. Nice and white still. Got lucky on that one. So I'm going to leave those in the package right now. I'm just going to kind of roll it over so they don't start sucking moisture out of the air and get all weird. Next thing we got to open up is our crackers. See if we get a good hiss off of those. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Okay, those smell really good. And in 1986, you could still see the salt on the outside. So these are the good crackers. Can't wait to have me some of these. You gonna see them salt crystals on the outside? These are the good crackers. Now we'll check out our jelly real quick. I like to just cut the corner off of these. That way I've got more control. Now the apple jelly looks a little bit dark. <laughs> There's my apple face. All right, all we got left to check out is our main, and I got it nice and heated up now. We'll check it out. It seems to be delaminating just a little bit, and uh, that is definitely cause for concern because it was a little bit delaminated before I even put it in to the boiling water. All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, boy. I just squirted all over the place. Oh, man. Probably not a good sign. It looks fine. And it actually smells good. Let's dump it out here and see what it looks like on the tray. Looks like a bunch of diced up, formed and pressed turkey nuggets, turkey chunks, and some light gravy. All right, let's start giving this stuff a try. We're going to start off with the uh, turkey, of course, and see what we got going on here with it give you a there's a look inside of it all right there we go down the hatch hmm that actually tastes pretty good just a very very slight hint of a metallic aftertaste but the turkey itself is very flavorful juicy the gravy is really really nice but that metallic aftertaste has me a little bit worried I don't think I'm going to go any further with that just because of that really weird metallic aftertaste. I do not know if that's 100% safe or not. It still tastes okay, especially initially, but after you kind of swallow it, it kind of gets a weird metallic aftertaste. I would love to be able to eat that, but I don't think I'm going to take the chance. I am going to wash it down with this Army Mocha, the cocoa beverage powder with the Coffee Instant Type 1 in it to see how this is. Oh, that is so good. Oh, my gosh. Mm, especially where it's been cooling down. I can feel that going all the way down into my core. That is fantastic. It's rich. It's creamy, chocolatey. The coffee adds a nice little zip to it. You can just barely taste the coffee in it, honestly. 
It, it's very, very good, though. Mmm. Oh, yeah, I drink that all the time. All right, so we'll follow that up with one of the crackers and jelly. See, these have nice score lines on them, too, where you can just break them like that, which is really nice. And there's our apple jelly on the cracker. And there's just the cracker. Those are really nice. They're salty. They're savory. I wish they would bring back the salt on top of the crackers. The wheat flour in these, the way they were baked, is just perfect. So with the jelly, I know they're going to be fantastic. But let's go ahead and give the apple jelly a try. It's not as dark as I initially thought. Let's see, how old would this be? This looks about right for some 32-year-old apple jelly. A little bit oxidized, but uh, let's see what it's like. That jelly is just, it's perfect. The salty mixed with the sweet, you can't ask for much more than that. I mean, it is just killer. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more jelly to that. And uh, i got to have another one. Really good. Yeah, there's not very many things that are that old that taste that good. It's seriously really good. So let's check the pears out that I thought were going to be no good. But after opening them up, they look to be perfect. Super lightweight. Kind of feels like styrofoam in your hand. But uh, it also looks kind of like a piece of ice, if you ask me. It's got crystals on it. Alright, here we go. Yeah, those are still perfect. Nice and crunchy. Just exploding with flavor. The pear flavor. Mmm. Good for you. Tastes fantastic. Mmm. Yeah, this is a really nice rare treat. It's just as fresh as the day it was packed. All right, let's check out our maple nut cake. See what it's looking like. The nuts have definitely oxidized and turned brown. They also soak up some of the coloring from the cake and stuff, so you don't really know until you try these. You're never going to see one where the nuts are perfectly the color that they should be fresh, like a light tan color. You're never going to see that out of one of these really old nut cakes. But let's go ahead and give this a try. Okay, so far... No weird effects from the nuts. The cake is not really very sweet. It's kind of just mildly sweet. The nuts give it a nice um, kind of rubbery crunch because they obviously soaked up some of the moisture from the cake and stuff over the years. They're not exactly crisp like a roasted nut. They have a little bit of a different chew to them. But the flavor is just fine. No numbness. I'm kind of surprised. I can't believe because I kind of took a big bite to start with. I don't know what I was thinking, but... Anyone who's ever tried one of these knows that that right there is a big piece, and it's just plumb full of nuts. And I'm going to go ahead and eat this right now because I think it's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, surprisingly, that maple nut cake is just fine. It's got a very light maple flavor. It's not a very strong flavor at all. It's there. It's just very light. So overall, this thing's held up pretty daggone good. This, I just didn't really want a chance because it's poultry. I really didn't want to ingest a bunch of poultry and then have a chance of it not being any good so this is probably okay but definitely everything else was held up just perfectly i even put the creamer in usually i don't do that on these older meals really kind of surprised me with this one and the gum doesn't look like it's faded or anything at all either so uh i'm gonna go ahead and pop a piece of that out and see how easily that bites in not very easily it's a little bit hard but it's not real real hard so that's a good sign that you can still bite into the gum so overall, this has been a really good experience. I can't believe that it held up as well as it did. The meal flight feeding individual from 1986 had, was definitely a hit. I wish they'd bring back those crackers or at least the salt on the new crackers. That would be awesome. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. So this has been the 1986 menu number seven, turkey diced and gravy meal flight feeding individual. And I'm really surprised at how well everything held up. It's been a really fun one to check out. Not one that you're probably going to see very many reviews of. I don't think there were very many of these produced with the designation of the meal flight feeding individual. All right, so now is the time that I want to thank my patrons for all their help over there at Patreon. If you guys want to check that out, there will be a link to that popping up on the screen right now. If you want to, go over there. I talk to them all the time. Also want to say, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like. Go ahead and comment. And subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit that notification bell. That way YouTube will let you know every time I put a new video out. But alright, I guess all I got left to say is uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next ration review. Later.